Once we have data as vectors, we can perform operations that unlock incredible insights. First, we have addition and subtraction. These operations allow us to combine or contrast concepts. A famous example is king minus man plus woman equals approximately queen in word embeddings. It reveals semantic relationships. Next, the dot product is crucial for measuring similarity. If you have two vectors, a higher dot product generally means they are more alike. Imagine comparing two users' movie preferences. A high dot product suggests similar tastes. Finally, magnitude and normalization are about standardizing vectors. Magnitude is the length of a vector, and normalization scales vectors to a uniform length. This is vital because it allows us to compare vectors purely by their direction in space, rather than being influenced by their size or intensity. These operations form the bedrock of how AI systems make decisions based on data relationships. AI systems are constantly asking, how similar is this to that? Vector distance gives us the answer. The cosine similarity, or cosine similarity, is perhaps the most common measure in AI. It returns a value between negative one and one, where one means identical and negative one means completely opposite. Another method is Euclidean distance, which is simply the straight line distance between two points in vector space. These distance metrics are the heart of AI decision-making. You encounter them daily. Search engines convert your query into a vector and find similar document vectors. Recommendation systems find users with similar preference vectors to suggest new content. And image recognition systems convert pixels into feature vectors and then compare them to known object vectors to identify what's in a picture. And large language models use vectors for every word, creating a rich tapestry of relationships through vector math. Let's put this into practice with a simple movie recommendation engine. We define movies by their genre features, like action, romance, or sci-fi, as vectors.